Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. We are here at the uh, raid farm because somewhere around here is a shipwreck. And uh, while upgrading to 1.17, I removed um, the areas that I did not really spend any time and this includes this shipwreck um, and we will start off this episode with a bit of uh, a treasure hunt because I need at least one moss block okay that was a quick treasure hunt um, as you know um, Moss blocks in 1.17 can only be um, gained from either shipwrecks, like we just did, or from wandering traders. And uh, usually they only show up when you don't need them. And um, if you need something uh, explicit from them, they don't have it. But now we have 11 moss blocks. That should be uh, good. And uh, with with one moss block, we can always uh, get more. Isn't it magnificent? But we are not here to marvel at uh, what we did last time. But I prepared the area here a bit. Previously, it was a hole. Now it's covered over, and for today's build, we need these things. Um, I don't guess you can uh, figure out from the uh, items what it will be, but uh, maybe from the usage uh, of the uh, moss block, we will create a moss farm, more precisely, a bone meal farm to supplement all the other farms we have here as uh, recently when I have been uh, working uh, with on, on uh, projects I used quite a bit of uh, wood so I had to go farming over there and after that supplies were a bit low now they are up again as I spent quite a few hours here in this area for the uh, recent builds but it's good to have something so i guess um build in time lapse form and then we will see this moss farm design is by il mango and as he can explain the farm way better than i could i leave it up to him you will find the link to his video down in the description. And now it's time for some music.
farm is completed and filled with bone meal. So at least in theory, it should work. So let's give it a try. On off switch is here. And then let's go upstairs. Yes. We have uh, cobblestone generators on both sides. Then the stone is pushed in, converted to moss. The water breaks the carpet and the grass. And when the moss is uh, pushed, it gets uh, destroyed. Very nice. And as you can see, we get bone meal up here after every hopper along the way is supplied. So at least in theory we should use one bone meal and get two back in addition. That's quite cool. Um, this is just temporary because we will hook that up to the uh, main bone meal line and I also want to install uh, redstone line back uh, so that uh, this farm will only be operational if we are missing bone meal and then also have a, a shulka box loader for the bone meal because we have a few farms mainly flower farms that are not hooked up to the uh, central distribution system so uh, having a way to uh, uh, transport everything around is nice. I added two more things here. Uh, one is the uh, on-off or off-on switch. Um, down below from here we get the signal from the main bone mill line. So if the last hopper there is full we get this red torch lit and only when both these torches are unlit then the farm will actually run so flicking this lever does exactly nothing and if we have it off and simulate um, empty hopper by breaking this torch nothing happens only if we turn it on then we have it and i also installed a uh, shulker box uh, filler uh, we already have uh, two shulker boxes full uh, water stream goes over the uh, hopper here on top and occasionally uh, bone meal uh, is not sucked up and goes down there uh, and into uh, the main bone meal storage. And that, folks, is all. This farm produces an enormous amount of bone meal and we can even expand it uh, with one more module here uh, to the back. But I think uh, what we have here is sufficient. And next time we will build another farm right on top of this one. And then I have to come up with an idea of dressing this up. But all in good time. So for now, goodbye!